Hello and welcome to the Dumb and Dumbest podcast that Curtis courtesy ruined by yep. coughing at the very beginning. We are yep. here with our dear friend, Yvonne Belsich. Hello. Who from Invisible Oranges. Yvonne, do you want to introduce yourself to our loving listeners? Uh, yeah, so I am Yvonne. I write about music for Invisible Oranges and also Antihero Magazine. And uh, I also do some music too. How did you get involved in this whole thing? Well, uh, I mean, to be honest, it was a, a bit selfish. So I was first looking to hit people up to cover uh, my new band when we put out our first song last year. And I noticed that both Antihero and Invisible Oranges had a little thing where it's like, uh, we're open to contributors. If you want to write for us, just uh, get in touch. So I did. And they let me. Boom. Nothing like just asking and getting getting accepted. Yeah, I mean, I'd done a little bit of music writing years ago in a blog in Shanghai, and I liked it and just kind of fell off it for a while. So I thought that this would be a good chance to uh, get back on that horse. Where are you located again? Whereabouts in Europe? I'm in Prague. Prague, okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Because I, I, you, you mentioned Shanghai, so I just wanted to make sure that you weren't in Asia. Cause I, I thought no. before you had mentioned something about also having gone to Asia. Is that correct or no? Yeah, I used to live in Shanghai, but now I'm in Prague. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so now my question about, uh, so when you first applied to Invisible, well, asked about being a contributor to Invisible Oranges, did they make you a, an anti-hero? Did they make you apply or how does it work for people that are unfamiliar? Uh, so there was just a, a call for contributors on both of their sites. I don't know if it's still there. I know Tom, uh, who's the anti-hero editor, has done a bunch of site redesigns over the past year. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know off the top of my head if it's still there, but if it is, it'll just tell you, want to get in touch, get yeah. us up with some stuff you've written, maybe a couple of pitch ideas as well, and then they yeah. will get back to you. Okay, now next question for people that are curious about how this works. So at these sites, do you get to pick who you write about or do you get assigned uh, things that you have to cover? Um, I can't speak for the greater operations as a whole, especially I know that Antihero does a lot of show photography. So yeah. I think in that sense, Tom might be like, hey, there's a show in your area, photographer person, can you go cover this? But for me, I've kind of sort of carved out a little hole doing premieres and occasional features. So I will submit uh, bands that I think I'd like to showcase and the editors will either say, yes, we'd like to premiere this or no, this isn't really for us. And then I'll do it. Okay, so now how often do you get hit up by uh, bands and, pu and uh, publicists to do premieres and write-ups and stuff? So I'm just on their mailing list. So if there's something I'll like, then I'll reach out and say, hey, this is cool. Do you want to do a premiere at either of these two websites? How often do they actually hit you up, though? Like directly to say, would you like to premiere something? Yeah, other than me, just when I do that. Who, how many other people, how often does it usually happen other than like idiots like me doing that to you? I don't get directly asked that often. Usually they just send me their, their mailers and, and I'll be the one to say, hey, I, I'd like to show this band off. Interesting. But from, from time to time, they, it's, it's a small group of people. Like you, you yeah. and like one or two other people will specifically say, I'd like you to premiere this. But I, I'm pretty proactive about chasing up the bands that I want to uh, cover. So Interesting. I mean, now, have you ever had I'll, a band... I'll, directly pitch you though uh no i think uh i'm not directly reachable on either of those two websites and uh, i try to try to keep that to a minimum what about um, on twitter you ever had like uh, never had a band directly approach you and say hey you'd be interested in writing about us i haven't uh really? which honestly is kind of it's kind of nice i like i like just getting everything and deciding what i want to talk about Interesting. Matt, does that happen to you a lot with bands coming to you direct? Um, a fair amount of the time, bands come to me direct, but I feel like Yvonne and I have kind of different brands, as it were. Could be. I no, it, it's just, I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I was kind of surprised to hear that because I thought that there would be like floods and floods of bands just spamming the crap out of the both of you guys. I'm not really listed as a point of contact, though, on either of those two sites. So I think as, as a band, if you go to, uh, let's say, if you go to Antihero, it'll put you in touch with Tom, uh, for example. So 
there's no way on those sites to reach a writer directly unless you know who they are and are following them on, like you said, Twitter or something. Yeah, it just surprises me because just, I'm just checking your bio on Twitter right now because it specifically mentions that you write at those two places. So I was yeah. thinking you would just be like spammed with crap all the time. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I guess it works out pretty well. That, that does work out pretty well. But bands do not spam Ivan with uh, pitches. Not giving, not giving anybody ideas, just thought it was a good <laughs> um, Now, that being said, now, when, if, someone, like, if someone did want to hit you up to review something, what would be the way to do it? Like, tell, tell us like, how you would like to be approached if a band did uh, want you to cover their music. Um, well, so you can't direct message people on Twitter, I think, unless they're following you. So... <laughs> Like, I guess Twitter is my most public facing avenue, but the thing is, I, I don't want to have to be, I don't like being put in that sort of public position because then if I don't like it, I have to either be like, sorry, guy in front of everyone, I don't want to do it. Or, you know, it's like a weird pressure there. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So, um, how should, so, if, so if someone did have the balls to just reach out though, what should they do? Should they just say, hey, Ivan, um, I, I, I'm in this band would you be okay with checking us out like in a tweet or like what should they do? Uh, I, I guess so. I mean, there's also my band's Facebook page. You could send us a message there. What is the name of your band, by the way? Um, I don't know how to say it. So that's why I'm asking. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm reticent to even say it out loud because okay. at this point I've insisted not clarifying oh. uh, a certain pronunciation. Oh. Um, but it, so when, when I first came up with the name i was intending for it to be read as cosmogyre but okay. when i see the word my brain reads it as cosmic gear so i don't know i'm gonna say both are correct and whatever you think is correct is also correct okay so so hit you up with the cos cosmic gear <laughs> that's how i'm gonna say it yeah uh, that's fine okay or what about at your uh, instagram page because i forgot you because you're also an artist what about uh, hitting up on instagram i rarely use that i mean if i have a new piece i'll go on instagram to post it but i i once a month if that okay now just just to point out because we did forget to mention this ivan is is not not only is he in a band and a writer he also does uh, artwork and he did uh, recent recently for void ritual correct yeah yeah i did that was really what? cool um dan is one of my favorite uh contemporary black metal uh musicians right now so it was really dope to be able to work with him now, are you are you are you for hire, or are you just doing it occasionally for the artist? Art um, I would say yes for hire, and sadly only occasionally because not many people ask me to do anything for them. Okay, but if you were asked, you would do it, though. You're saying absolutely. Yeah, I love drawing, and uh, having a reason to draw something is always good. Cool. And what do you prefer doing more, the writing, the uh, music, or the art? Um. Well, you know, they, they both scratch different itches, I guess. But so, given, if you had to pick one, one avenue for you to do, which would it be the writing, the art, or the music? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just quit doing all three and become a monk. That's a, that's a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> how, has, how has your music journalism career advanced your music career? Good question. Um, f firstly, I would like to definitively state I, I do not think of myself as a music journalist because I, I specifically go out of my way to not have to have a wall of critical detachment. Okay. So I think, I think a journalist, their job is to be objective. Their job is to distance themselves from the subject. Whereas w the way I see what I want to do is this band is great. I like it. You should also like it. Uh, I'm not, uh, presenting balanced uh, point of view here. It's like, this is great, check it out. Um, but that, that aside, I would say from, uh, from, from writing about music and talking to other music writers, uh, certainly getting, getting more familiar with who else is doing this and who's available to cover things has been beneficial. Absolutely. Has it, and I feel like it's probably also put you in touch with some label people, right? Um, Sort of, I guess so. Um, although the the label that put out our album found us 
uh, by themselves. That wasn't okay. through through my music writing stuff. What label okay. was it that put you guys out again? I don't remember. Uh, it's called Flowing Downward, which is a subsidiary of Avant Garde Music. Yep. Great labels. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of someone else. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, Martin. Why don't you know every weird Euro label ever? <laughs> I, I know a couple, but I don't. I don't know a ton. I mainly hear about them through you, Matt. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm your alpha nerd. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, how much time we got for you, Matt? Uh, you three know? minutes. Okay. okay so, so what, what's our final stuff with Ivan? Any, okay, Yvonne. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, I'm I'm used to it. Okay. Sorry. Just to kind of head towards the end, Yvonne. What? What are you, do you have any final statements for our listeners in terms of about your work, how to get in touch with you, et cetera, et cetera. And what do you have to plug? Okay. Uh, I don't have any statements about the work other than listen to it. I don't think it's my job to tell you what it is. You listen to it and you figure it out. You know, the, the artist makes the work, they put it out and then it's out of their hands. Absolutely. Um, if you wanted to get in touch with me, like, like we were saying with Curtis, um, you can just tweet at me or contact me on the band page. Um, what and, was the band uh, name again? Uh, it is spelled K O S M O G Y R. Cool. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and uh, I don't have anything to plug at the moment uh, because we're really slow. But Aww. we just we just contributed a track to the Black and Death recent. Uh, woman two compilation so if you haven't checked that out yet you should awesome perfect well thank you very very much for coming on and giving us a little chunk of your afternoon i thanks for having me i know it's early in the morning for you guys so i appreciate you uh oh. accommodating my schedule all good we're up, no we're, we've both been up for probably about two hours so we're good exactly. that's unhealthy that's uh i actually just woke up because i was up late last night but it's okay <laughs> this was dumb and dumbest Thank you guys for listening. This was Yvonne Bel Bel Sitch. <laughs> yep, that's me. We nailed it. Okay. Invisible Oranges, amazing band whose name I can't pronounce. Yeah. Artist extraordinaire. Also, What's your Instagram? Also Antihero though. An Antihero. Don't, don't forget Antihero. Antihero. Don't forget Antihero. What's your Instagram? Uh, it's just my first name and my last name. That's it. Same as okay. Twitter. Good. So we'll tag him in all that bullshit in the show notes. Yep. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Have a wonderful Monday.